Oh, yeah. Fish on, baby. Well, good day, folks, and welcome back to another fish on video. In this one, I just want to run through how I fish weed edges in big open waters to target brim. So this is something that I do on a regular basis. Um, I fish a lot of estuaries and the main lake of the estuary generally hold a lot of weed around the edge and I try and target these weed edges where the weed drops away into a nice drop off into deeper water. That's the kind of areas where I'm targeting brim and generally I'm finding some big brim as well. First of all, I'd just like to welcome Bust Up Crew as the sponsor to this video. I'm very uh, happy that uh, they've decided that they want to jump on board with fish on and I've managed to get myself onto a few items including this hoodie here. That's the back. So that's the back design of the hoodie which is amazing. I, uh, I love it and uh, very comfortable. They actually they fit perfectly to whatever size you are and uh, very comfy. The hoodies have got the pockets here at the front so if it's a bit chilly you can put your hands in the pockets just for a couple of minutes to warm them up uh, normal hoodie with the uh, drawstrings and definitely very very comfortable I will be getting some more I also sent me a t-shirt which is the same design but just in a black t-shirt uh, they do white and grey as well as well as black and check this out How awesome is that fishing shirt? So what a great design. It's got bust up crew down the sleeves as well. Uh, what I love about it is it's my favorite material. I've got a couple of fishing shirts that are really heavy and very uh, stifling. They get very hot, they're not breathable. Whereas this is the one, the same as my Bem River. Um, fishing shirt with like the pinhole material and it's you hold it up to light and it's very thin so you can breathe in it, it stops you getting burnt I'm sure the white and the grey would be a bit cooler because the black does absorb slight, slightly some heat but I found it to be amazing my dog's barking hmm. anyway brilliant shirt, great design, very cool and uh, yeah thank you very much for that, loving it so far um, I will attach all of the social media pages and the link to the website where you can actually get your hands on some of this. And if you do, mention us, fish on. All right, so onto this video. Back by popular demand, I'm bringing back the whiteboard with some magic diagrams. Everyone knows that I'm an awesome sketcher. Uh, so I thought, why not do it to show you some areas where I target these brim. And then I'll show you some actual footage of us catching the brim in those locations. So here we go, hit the like and subscribe. Hopefully you get something from this and let's get onto the great diagrams. All right, so onto the first diagram. How amazing is it? So what we've got and what I'll show you in the first video is this is a inlet. So it's the main lake of an inlet. And then we go out to the right and we come into this bay. That's a pretty big bay and when you motor through here, it's all very uh, plain, sandy bottom, just with a few depth variations in there. And it's not until you get 15 meters from the, the bank. Uh, this is trees, so this is all land here. Uh, the edge of the inlet's surrounded by trees. And then from the bank, there's about 15 meters of uh, ribbon weed, which is under the water because it's flooded at the moment, the system, so it's under the water. And you've got about a meter depth uh, until you hit the, the uh, weed. Uh, on the edge of the weed, it's 2.3 meters water depth. And then as you come out further, it drops down three, four, down to five meters. So we're targeting these weed edge, uh, weed edges because uh, the weed holds a lot of bait. It holds a lot of bait fish and prawn and shrimp and things like that. And then that, of course, holds a lot of uh, predator fish. It, it, um, you know, they come in to feed, and you'll find that when you're getting bites around weed edges, they're actively feeding. So generally, you're getting really good bites because they're only there for one reason, and that's to eat. Um, 
So this little triangle here is our boat. It's the Tabs Bull Shark, but Tabs are way better than that. So don't pay too much attention to that diagram. And 2.3 meters is where the weed clears and that's the depth to the bottom of the inlet. So what we did, put the boat here and for this style of fishing, I'm fishing deeper water. So 2.3 to 5 meters, we're using soft plastic. So on this day, I was using a variety of grubs, um, Munro soft plastics, low tide lure, ribbon tail minnow, and uh, Pete was using Z-Man Slim Swims. And in this video, he was actually flicking a shallow diver Hurricane Twitch 50 over the top of this weed, trying to get a bite there. But what I did is I found a few casts out, one here, one here, and then one out here. And you'll see in the video, I actually worked through the technique. It's a single, simple hop or a little double twitch hop. And you can see the line clearly and there's a bite. Um, so that actually shows you what a bite looks like as well in this video. So just working, fan out the cast. Uh, I actually got a fish on this cast. Uh, casting into about, probably, it was probably four meters, hopping back to 2.3 meters where the boat, we were pretty much sitting right on the edge of that weed. So, soft plastics and because of the water depth i was using a 1 12th jig head uh, just to get down to the bottom and a size for brim i use a size one or two hook just depending on how finesse i want to be and then obviously on later videos i will use a shallower um sorry a lighter jig head a 120th jig head so as i get more of a slow flutter through the water and presents in the brim space a little bit longer and i don't have to worry about getting down to the bottom because it's not as deep so yep, position the boat on the edge of the weed, fan out some cast, uh, I'll go through technique and hook a fish and I hope you enjoy that video. It's actually very clear here. So there you go. So this is the weed here on this normal sonar and then you can really see it coming in as a hard bottom and then you've got the weed. So that's what I mean when we fish weed edges. So we're positioning the boat and then casting soft plastics or lures back towards that weed edge because you'll find a lot of bait fish and there's a lot of weed coming in there. So that's that weed edge in 2.3 meters of water. There it goes, it's starting to thin out now. And there it goes. So the right there on the normal sonar and the stand scan is pretty much clear of weed. That's kind of area we want to be landing our lures in, in that 3.2 meter mark. There you go, done, on the bottom. And then we just start off with a single hop, watch the line, slack, hit the bottom, give it two seconds, three seconds, longer in winter. Hit the bottom, hop. You can vary the hop, so you can do a little double hop quicker. Brings the plastic up in the air. A little bit more, puts more movement on it. But I generally find with the grubs, the, the lure does all the work. It's got that curl tail that's consistently spinning around and, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> waving and, you know, even when it's on the bottom, that tail's sticking up in the air, so it looks like a feeding wor a worm that's come out or a feeding bait fish. And that's pretty much how we do it, isn't it, Pistol? Yep. Mm. Let's try and get a bite so you can see. Days like this, you can use lighter jig heads, so you get more flutter time in the water. In I, have the water I have actually got a 120. And that's, yeah, that's the other thing. You have to vary your jig head weight to the depth of water that you're fishing and the conditions that you're fishing. Oh, there you go, there's the flinch of the line. So now you've got that on video, you can replay that on your television and watch it over and over again to get used to that. That's the key. Feels like you've got weight. There's a leader. Uh, I'll get a net for you. I'll be your net boy. Beep, beep. Morse code. Uh, I don't think with these rods, they know they're hooked half the time. Oh, he's in weed. Come on, get out of there. No, get out of there. 
He's aiming for that weed. I forgot we were right on the weed edge. Oh, this is a good fish. He's in the weed. I can feel him pulling through it. Yeah, it is a brim back. Oh. Hey. Oh. He is. He's bloody hell. I must have said he fight. Hey. Only like a little one. A little it's one like 38. Four yeah. <laughs> golden flanks, white underneath on the belly. That's just pistol. <laughs> <laughs> That's just pistol. All right, so in the next one, we are fishing the same bay. It's the same day. And I was fishing this point. This point here. Uh, so the bay comes around and then we fish this point and the wind, I think the wind has slowly, slightly picked up and it was going this way. It's very light though, very light wind. So we position the boat somewhere here and we put some casts with the grubs again, 112 jig head along this point. and slowly hopping back to the boat. Um, what you want to do with the weed edge is we normally position the boat. Uh, if it's windy, we spot lock, so as we can hold position and really work an area and put a big cast out. If you get weed, then we normally bring the lure back, get the weed off and then alter the cast. So you might do 80% of your cast distance. You really want to try and find the edge of that weed because that's where the active feeding fish are going to be patrolling right on the edge of that weed waiting for bait fish and, and prawns and things like that to come off so they can smack them so I positioned the boat there put cast around this point and actually caught a beautiful 41 centimeter brim on a low tide lures uh, ribbon tail minnow in uh, motor oil so i'll roll that footage now 15 or 10 or 15 must be yeah that's why i could put my old boat in there, there you go. Oh, geez, he's a bottom hugger. That's a nice broom, I reckon. It's a good clunk. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was it? I saw its head. It was either a flathead or a broom. I think it's. Oh, big flat oh big that's brim. a big broom. Get that net. <laughs> Oh, what a ripper. That's a photo, if I get it in the net. Yes, that's a pig. All right, so the next one, same day, same bay again, but a little bit later in the morning, probably an hour and a half later, and the wind had really picked up a bit. So wind was going this way and pushing into this corner here. So we moved the boat and positioned uh, about here and we just put in some casts right on the weed edge uh, around here um, wind had picked up which means a lot of food and and it's stirring up you imagine the waves and that crashing into that weed edge uh, it's it's pushing a lot of food out uh, maybe some nymphs and maybe some shrimp you know and then the breed at brim are really actively feeding in that pocket then so we worked this for a while and caught a lot of fish. Uh, in the video, we get a bit excited because um, we're catching quite a few fish. So, uh, but that's what it's all about. You know, you want to have a plan, and when your plan works, uh, get excited about it. So that's what we did. Uh, so yeah, cast tight to the weed again and worked that pocket for probably about forty minutes and uh, pulled out quite a few fish. Enjoy that one. We've got to go out that way because the weed kind of comes around again. Perfect. Look at that. Look at all that bait. This should be a nice weedy pocket here. Bit of a weedy elbow. Look at all that. Right, let's see what we've got. I'm sure there'll be a fish here in a minute. Bonk. Depth. There you go. That'll be a fish. I don't even hold it <laughs> I was looking, I was doing this around you and then I felt it. <laughs> I had a strike because so I had to take up a lot of slack line. 
Okay. She's beautiful. <laughs> Not here, he's alright. Oh, yep. Another one. See? <laughs> it's a little pocket, mate. Oh, this is a brim. Oh, that's got some weight, I think. That's a brim. Not doing a lot, but it's got some decent head knots. <laughs> How many fish is this there, Pistol? Oh, that's three. Oh, three, three, <laughs> three. <laughs> 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 There's another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next diagram is a different system. This is fishing lake tires um, up the now and hour arm here. Uh, so this is the, you come up here from the main boat ramp and we found a nice bay. Now this was in oh, September and early October and we found that the brim were squalling up and spawning or a lot of brim in this area. So we've got the main arm, little bay, around the edge of the bay there was some weed, About that would have been about I don't know, six, seven foot from the bank. Uh, as you work through the bay, it's various depths. So, you know, the, throughout the day they moved around. They might be sitting fairly shallow at the morning and then as the sun gets up, they're sitting down this three meter mark. A lot of weed at the top end of the bay. You know, for me, structure, any structure, weed attracts bait fish. First thing I'm looking for on my sander, is structure and bait fish where you got structure and bait fish you've got predator fish uh, this was a very productive edge and there was a lot of old tree stumps little, little trees and and um, grasses and then there was a bit of weed and then on that drop off was probably only a meter uh, at the edge of that weed there so we were putting the boat you know all along here and casting onto this weed edge and hopping back down so there wasn't much of a drop a meter drop but um you had structure you had bait and you had brim uh, the one day we fished there was a really strong wind so if there is a strong wind i'm generally targeting banks that the wind is blowing onto because the waves are crashing in stirring up a whole lot of food and what we also had around this area was uh, three or four black swans and you imagine what a swan does they're putting their head down in the bottom and rooting through weed turning up mud turning over weed and i think as we caught quite a few brim around these swans the brim uh, opportunistic so they they know what the swans do and they go in and when the when the swans stir up some stuff and food the brim go in and eat it they're a bit of a scavenger so that's what we we're finding and yeah working these banks and we're finding brim out in the open as well just on drop offs you might get a little drop off here so find those ledges find those drop offs uh, find the bait fish and you'll find active fish but a lot of our fish came off this weed edge and the one in this video did and it was a cracker i think it was 43 centimeters of a beast of a brim so enjoy that video Oh, the idea was the Did you get cabbage then, you said? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's alright then. That's what you want. And then just add a pause every now and again. Jesus. Can't do nothing with this one. <laughs> oh, he's putting up a good scrap, this one. Oh, he's having a good uh, 
Had a good go at it. Feels, feels weighty. I reckon it might be a 40. I haven't got an overly loose drag either. You back on the grub? Yeah, mate. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? It's amazing what a fish does, isn't it? What a difference a fish makes. He's put up a good scrap. Oh, yeah, yep, it's the biggest one for the day, I reckon. Oh, they are just amazing fish. The chasing fish boys um, commented, they like the brim seem to have like massive heads. You know, like those bumpy snapper heads. Yep. That's a fatty. Oh, he's fatty got yellow. He's a fatty. Mate. He's a fat. He would have been popular. He wanted that. that. <laughs> uh. Yes. <Yeah>, right. <laughs> you and all your bloody you know, Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Professional organisation here. Right, nobody. He's forty plus. I'm gonna go forty-two. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry mate. <laughs> Read it out. 43. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There you go. Well done. There we go. 43 centimeters of fatness. Look at them fins, pistol. I love those pectoral fins when they're out like that. Imagine them being a bait fish with that coming down on top of you. No. <laughs> oh, just that. How good is fishing? All right, so the final one, same system, same bay. Um, I will say that we fished, uh, I didn't say on the last video, we didn't fish heavy jig heads this day. We're fishing 1 20th, because we're only fishing two meters deep. Um, we really wanted that tail of the grub just as a slow flutter, dropping down, hanging in the brim's face. Uh, the water temperature wasn't great, so I think in winter and spring, if you can get that grub to waft in front of the brim's face, it just gives them that entices them uh, a little bit more than if it's just plummeting to the bottom with like a one twelfth, one eighth, something like that. So the last one, uh, we're fishing, uh, come across here, we've put the boat here and I'm targeting this point. So there was a little bit of rain through this spring, so there was a bit of water flow, not much, just a little bit uh, coming around this point. So we put some casts on here. And I picked one up, right here. So once again, finding that weed edge, landing it right on. If you, if you cast too far, you'd get covered in weed and you just wasted a cast. Uh, so really try and find it down and, and find out where that, exactly where that weed starts. Cast right onto that weed and I picked up another cracker, 42 centimeter brim. I think this day, um, if we're in a comp, the smallest bag brim would have been 41 centimeters. So, and they were chunky. So we probably would have ended up with a, oh, I reckon a six kilo bag, easy. They were massive. So working these weed edges, uh, this is the last video and the last um, uh, weed edge that we're gonna be fishing. So I hope you've, uh, these, these tips really help and uh, yeah, enjoy this video, enjoy this broom, it was a cracker. And uh, I'll see you on the end of the video. Right there. Bait junkie, mate. Bait junkie. Oh, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right, right on the edge. About six foot eight. Six foot eight. You will. You get one. That's it. No, too far. <laughs> Come on, pistol. Don't get like that. <laughs> oh, far out. Right. He's putting up a scrap. Yeah, boy. Oh, look at him, pissed out. Nothing. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> I'll get a picture of this one. It's 
got to be another 42 surely yep 42 that's the bag a bag of 41s 42s 43s all right well that's it hope you've enjoyed those magic diagrams i know i'm a wizard uh, i was wasted i should have gone to art school and um Hope you've enjoyed it, hope you've got something from it of how we catch brim on weed edges and uh, yeah, we do this a lot through uh, winter and now summer as well uh, from our latest videos and we always seem to catch fish there so really hope it helps. Um, I'll just run over, so the main soft plastics that we used were grub style plastics in motor oil, so whether it's Munro's, Low Tide or Z-Man or Daiwa Bait Junkie, and also uh, your Slim Swim, your minnows, uh, you know, your two, two and a half inch size uh, soft plastics, and varying the jig head weight from say a 1 8th, 1 12th, 1 16th, 1 20th, depending on the water depth. The lighter jig head for shallow water, the deeper jig head your 1 12th for when you're fishing that four or five metre mark. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that technique. It's very simple. Um, some people see it as a boring style of fishing, but I love it. It's, um, yeah, when you get some good fish and you can get regular bites, it's amazing uh, targeting those edges and drop offs. So I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, check out Bust Up Crew Merch and uh, they have some fantastic clothes. You know me, I wouldn't lie. Uh, I'm not into lying or, or bull crapping about different stuff. So. It's comfortable. If it wasn't comfortable, I'd tell you, uh, but it is. It's really good, and I love the fishing shirt. So thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave a comment. Give it a like. It's what makes me keep doing all these videos. So give them likes if you enjoy it. Go on to the actual YouTube, because I know sometimes when I put a link, you can't like it. You have to log on to YouTube and do that. Please make the effort to um, go on to YouTube and give it a like, because it encourages me to keep doing these videos. So thanks again. See you on the next one.